Welcome back to Courtney's Closet. I'm Courtney. Um, today is just like a come out with me and do errands type thing. Or oh, we're kind of done the errands now, but I have a lot of time to kill and I'm bored, so I figured I would chill and hang you lot. Um, I don't know. I hope that you can still hear me. I'm in the car at the moment. It's a really horrible day outside. That like it's really like spitting it down and. I'm bored, I'm sat in the car, I've been waiting for my mum, she's like chatting to a friend who she hasn't seen in a, in a while, you know, because of quarantine and stuff, so I just figured I'd make a video and talk to you guys, so today was just about getting a couple of errands, so one of the things I went and got was, we need, I, I basically, I bought this plant from Ikea, there's like three different aloes in, in one big pot, and I've never had a plant before that's got like three different plants in it, but one of them started to die, so I tried to save it and it didn't really work. It made the other ones, other plants start to die, the ones that I was sharing the pot with. So what I ended up doing was like taking all the dead bits out, cutting anything that I thought could survive. And we were basically gonna repot them and see if we could grow them from little tiny shoots. Um, but where I put my potting soil that I had from before um, was in the shed and had on the shed rusted shut we can't actually open the shed now and it's like a proper industrial padlock which means we have to get my brother's friend to come in with his like cutter tool thing he's like a builder or whatever to chop the lock off but in the meantime in the little shoots are starting to die because they've not been potted and i'm like oh i need it so one of the things we went today and got was some potting soil so i put these little tiny baby pots that we're gonna then put these little shoots in and hopefully it's not been too long and they will survive i'll see if i can show you some of the little cuttings that we have when i get back into the house but i hope they're gonna survive um but whilst i was in wilkinson's that's where i got my potting soil from some more because obviously I, the other bit is still stuck in the garage but i went and got some other plants in wilkinson's um, I'll show you. So I got this little one, which I think is really, really cute. It is a Calathea. It's in like a little, on a little wooden pallet and it's in like a little glass jar. You can just see all its like, roots exposed and stuff. And that's its greenery. But I just think it's really cute. It's really tiny. I thought it'd be really nice on like my, my bedside table, but obviously I would rotate it into the window because it does need light. Um, but I think my bedside tables look a bit bare sort of thing, so I'm going to try and put that there. Spoiler alert, this plant died within like two weeks. Calatheas are just not for me. <laughs> so I got one of those. I had a Calathea before and it was like the one they bloomed with like pink stripes on. It was a bigger one, but it died like... Honestly, I should have taken instantly. this as a warning. To be fair, I don't think it was packaged the best. And then the second one I got was this. It's in a little... It's I'm Yes, you've been talking to her for an hour. Yes. Oh, we love her. She's still alive like this, and thriving. Like, with in water, in water rooms, but apparently it's really, really easy to um, to maintain these. And um, what you just do is keep filling up the water, so like ninety percent, and they are literally pretty happy. They need a little bit of some like nothing major, which is again why I thought it'd be good for my other bedside table. So this is the second plant that I got. Um, I also went and picked up a parcel from Monkey, which is a cute little jumper. I've had quite a few parcels recently. What else? We went out, got some subscriptions, just some normal day-to-day -day business. But I'm finally heading home, so I'll show you the shoots and I'll show you some of the things that I bought. So we're back now, and as promised, I'm in the house, in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you the little aloe cuttings that we have. We're probably gonna have to cut them again because they've started to like dry up at the end. And I'll show you the little pots and stuff that I'm gonna put them in. So these are my little aloe cuttings. So, so a lot of them are, some of them are in good condition, like this one is pretty good. Um, so we're hoping that we'll be able to sprout some roots off of that. We have a few different types. We've also got this type. Here, which I think is really really pretty so which is why I didn't want them to die because the ones that we the other one that we cut off were just these like kind of plain aloe which is surviving the upstairs just fine which means I'm not that bothered about redoing these ones but if we can get some more plants that's cute but yeah so we're gonna do that and pop them into these little fiber pots and then we'll stand them up in here because when you have water these will get wet um, but then we've got the compost inside of them as well but also we got these 
from my mum's work, which I just think are really interesting. They're like, you, they're like tea bags, but you put them into like cold water so to make like fruit water type thing. So there's loads of different flavors. This is this one, this one, which I'm not too excited about. <laughs> that one sounds cool. I don't know how I feel about ginger. I never really was into ginger. This one sounds great. This is probably my favorite. Oh, this one sounds quite nice as well. And then this one. I don't really like watermelon, so I doubt I'm gonna like this one, but I'm interested in how these turn out. So that's another interesting update. In other news, we are also gonna try and do some like at home dry cleaning type treatments with some stuff that we have because the dry cleaners have all been like closed because of corona and like the are the one that was local to us is closed for good so we've got to find ourselves a new place but in the meantime um we found these things on well, my mom found these things online they're called day two dry wash spray they do them in different ones so this is the original this freshens softens and irons um, clothes, then um, you've got one for delicate items, um, and we have one for denim, which is what we're actually going to use on some jeans of mine. Um, but they're interesting that like, you, you're supposed to spray them on, let it soak for a bit, and then dry brush them off, and hopefully it renews things. But I'll show you what I'm trying to fix. So, a while back, my mum actually helped me find these amazing dark blue ink denim jeans. Um, which are amazing. I wore them one time. I went out to do uh, my photo shoot at Woolton Park, which is part local to me. Um, and it was raining and it's muddy there and stuff. And these jeans are quite long on me because I'm quite short. I'm only like five foot three. And so they kind of dragged on the ground. And now the kind of hems, I don't know if you can see that, kind of have got like water and damp mud thing but they say they're only dry they're dry clean only so we're gonna see if we can repair them with this denim spray so i'll show you the process of that so we have nine little shoots that we're gonna try and turn into little tiny plants we shall see who survives only the strong shall survive but yeah i just need to trim the ends put some potting soil then put that in and then put some more soil to pack around it and let's see and hope that they grow into something beautiful. I have once again like to interject, not one of these ended up surviving. <laughs> I am awful at plants, I need help. Send help. Welcome to my baby plant nursery. I have nine cute little new baby aloe plants and we hope, hopefully they'll grow, but we'll see. We have nine to start with. Um, we'll see how many actually make it or if they no, even stop growing. None made it. Because it's not like I know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm trying. So we now move on to our dry cleaning. I've got my little day two dry wash spray denim. It's really formulated for denim. Low denim flat over bedding. Apply evenly across the garment. Hands smooth any creases. Hang up for 15 minutes. What follows is a brief construction montage. So here we go. That one side, and smooth it first. So, using my hands to smooth it in, I guess. Never been into material things I'm the type that usually connects to someone's energy But you're acting used to me Don't act like you used to around me Are you getting tired of all my love? I need to know cause baby when push comes to shove I need someone around Someone to hold me down For the best, but we shall see. I'm just gonna repeat the same for the other leg, which also one side looks okay, the other side looks a lot worse. But yeah, I'll show you in 15 minutes. Early the next morning. So it is the next day. Um, we tried the dry cleaning spray, and I mean, it smells nice. It doesn't look too bad from the other side of the jean, but you can tell that it didn't do what it. Was supposed to do so I'll show you on site. 
So on this side of the jean, it doesn't look that bad, but I think you might be able to see this kind of like, it's darker, this bottom bit, and then that's the normal jean color, the hem. So there's that, but if I turn it inside out, you'll see one size out. So you can really see that there now is like a major line. So we have decided to resign. <laughs> And uh, send it to the uh, to the experts. I also tried it on my coat, and I feel like you, now you can literally see it. It's like a little pea stain line where we need it. To be fair, though, it does look cleaner, but unless you use it on the whole item, I think you're just going to get those marks all around it. So again, we're just going to take it to the dry cleaners and see what happens. So let's summarize what we've learned from today's vlog. Stay in your lane, fam. If you don't know what you're doing, leave it to the experts. Those plants died. <laughs> yeah. they, they lasted like a week. They didn't sprout. I don't know if you can even grow aloe. And then the dry cleaning, as you saw, didn't really make any difference. They smelled amazing. They smelled great. It's great for refreshing the smell of clothes, but if you're trying to actually clean them, I think it's best to leave it to the experts unless you know what you're doing. So, moral of that story. Take your stuff to the dry cleaners, don't ruin it. <laughs> but I took into the dry cleaners a few weeks later when everything opened again and they're perfect now. So I can wear them and I can show you guys them in some other type of video. But that's gonna wrap up this video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, come back next week, Thursday for another video. Um, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here at Courtney's Closet next week.